hello everyone and welcome back to the channel hope you're all doing well and and i'm very happy to be back again with another video and the final collection video so this is the final uh you know number of fragrances that i have and i'm very happy to finally come to this to this end because it seemed like it was the never ending process going on so finally it will be over today there are a few fragrances that i have unfortunately missed out on in the relevant videos so one of them is juicy couture's viva la juicy this is gold couture and this is an amazing amazing fragrance very very long lasting very very uh, strong in the projection and the sillage is amazing uh you know whenever i sniff it i find myself so allured by its fragrance that i don't feel like doing away with it but uh, somehow i feel this is a little girly this is a little young like uh, you know teenager 20s perfume and i feel like i have kind of moved on from that age group but i don't know so i'm in two minds about decluttering this i have not used this in quite a while but uh, this is an amazing amazing fragrance it's just that i at my age i don't always feel very comfortable using it the next fragrance that i have here is from the brand etat libre de orange and uh, i hope i did not butcher that name this is ryan intense incense i oh this is an amazingly gorgeous fragrance but uh this is only for winters this is like a strictly cold day cold night winter perfume and uh, this is definitely it sounds like it's very strong incensey kind of fragrance but uh it's really not that this is very likable and uh, it's not cloying in any way but it has got a, it's very potent when you put on and that's why i said it's like it's not a safe blind buy and it's definitely not a fall or a summertime fragrance to me this is like only a cold weather fragrance so these are the two that i missed out and i'll start with today's uh, perfumes that i have here lined up and the first one that i have here with me is um, a vintage perfume this is 4711 and this is uh, to me this is inheritance you know like people have uh, money uh, and they have jewelry they have other kinds of wealth you know that they inherit from their families in my family i have also inherited this um, fragrance and i'm very happy about it because i've grown up seeing this on multiple dressing tables uh, in my family in my extended family but this is my bottle which i got a couple of years back and i can't uh, speak enough for this fragrance it has got a whole it has got a whole lot of notes this has got orange oil peach bergamot it has got patchouli it has got a uh, Uh, you know it has got a uh, sandalwood oak moss vetiver musk and a whole lot of other notes but to if you just put it to your nose it's just freshness in a bottle this is the ultimate freshness and at a price unbelievable price this is the ultimate freshness that you need for a hot humid day night any time you coming out of the shower you want to spray this on your pillow at night for a very refreshing sleep this is just the answer for it the next fragrance that i have here is from the brand called lorenzo villoresi fragrance and this is patchouli and uh, since i love patchouli i have different kinds of patchouli fragrances and this is an intense earthy very very earthy very very you know raw kind of patchouli which many of you will not like unless you are a patchouli lover to me this is more like a collection than i know like a collector's item than for wearing because it does not have a certain uh, fragrance attribute if you want to wear it because nobody wants to smell like the wet earth but everybody loves the smell of wet earth and this is exactly that in this bottle so now i come to this fragrance which is one of my all time favorites i can't recommend this enough to people this is the safest blind buy if you want to and i was a little confused should i go by the brand or should i go by the name because it has 
two <laughs> names two letters which fits in two groups actually anyway it's coming in this video only so this is shiseido zen and i'm sure you have seen this in multiple videos earlier and god this is beautiful god this is beautiful this is such a gorgeous gorgeous fragrance can't recommend this enough really guys if you wish to go for a blind buy you can go for it or if you find this this is really uh unavailable everywhere and this is a second bottle worthy fragrance and a complete blind buy worthy and it has got a whole lot of fruity floral notes it's got patchouli in it it has got amber musk and uh, uh, it has got incense too and the blending is so amazing in this you cannot really pick up one note which is i just hit the hint of patchouli i know it's a patchouli fragrance that's all otherwise the pineapple or the grapefruit or the orange in it it's just a, a beautiful fresh floral kind of fragrance amazing amazing fragrance i mean totally blind by worthy if you find a zen and you don't like it it's my recommendation it's a total blind buy worthy fragrance if you find a zen and don't like it send it to me i'll buy it from you the next fragrance is for all you iris lovers i love iris as you might know by now so this is panthea iris from the house of stephen humbert lucas and this is one of their 2019 launch um oh, it's a gorgeous iris a bit powdery a bit creamy it has got tobacco, sandalwood and tonka bean at the base. So um, I have to say the powderiness is beautifully enhanced. You know, it's not like a dry powder, baby powder kind of thing. Not like that. It's a gorgeous fragrance, very, very sharp, but nothing nose burning, not too uh, loud in that way. It's got it's blended beautifully with the sandalwood. So there's a little creaminess, little butteriness to it. And that powderiness is beautiful. And the next fragrance that I will talk about here is one of my favorites. To me, this is Feminine Excellence. This is Sisley's Eau de Soir. And this is, the bottle is, um, this was a limited edition, I think starry, starry Night kind of collection. So, but the perfume is, I presume, the same. And, uh, oh. This is such a gorgeous fragrance, but if you have this, don't try to wear it during the summers because recently I tried experimenting this um, on a daytime outing and it did not work out well. The same perfume that I just love during the winters, any time of the day or night, but uh, it did not work, give me a very satisfying experience and I gather it's because of the climate. You cannot always experiment with the uh, intensely winter fragrances during the summertime as i often do this too has a lot of uh, floral notes it has lily of the valley ylang ylang it has uh, iris it has um, patchouli too it, ha it has amber and musk at the base as well so it's a beautifully gorgeous fragrance but again strictly winter fragrance and now i think i can safely come to this huge collection i have one of my most favorite brands all-time favorite brands and i i promise to grow this collection even further and this is none other than my one of my favorites this is serge luton's and this is my first serge luton fragrance that i got and see how judiciously i've used it so this is shergi this is a very old formulation and uh, not very old. I think this was in 2015 uh, and uh, formulation and uh, I think this was the 2015 formulation. There's an older one with the bottle looked different then and this label looked different actually. And uh, but this is amazing as well. And this is my first Serge Luton's fragrance and I was so naive at that time. I still remember I bought it, I blind bought it and I was thinking, is it a good one? And then as I used it, I realized this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. So this is Shergi, the first one that I have, the ultimate tobacco fragrance. You know, I feel this is like a bitter tobacco leaf made delectable made delicious with the you know dipping it in the best possible honey and floral notes so that is how good it is 
It has got other uh, notes as well. It has got iris. It has got uh, sandalwood. It has got a whole lot of floral notes as well. But there's one thing that will be common to all, uh, that can be commonly said for all the fragrances from the house of Serge Luton's, and that is their, their blending is just amazing. Amazing blending. You cannot really pick up one note from the other simply because the blending is so good. The next fragrance that I'll pick up here is again uh, one of my favorites the Tura Noir from the house of Serge Luton's. This I really actually bought this 50 ml bottle because I was not sure if I'm going to like the uh, you know the white florals the tuberose in it but this is such a gorgeous summer fragrance. If you have this you need not worry about your hot summer days hot and humid summer days such a gorgeous elegant dainty kind of a fragrance very very feminine very very likable during the summer days nothing too sharp or overbearing something that i don't like about tuberose it's beautiful the next fragrance that i'm from the house of serge luton's that i'm going to show you is a beautiful fragrance called vetiver oriental and just look at that this natural light here you can see this beautiful green fragrance this is obviously vetiver dominated and so gorgeous apart from vetiver this one has iris this one has sandalwood and gayak wood but there is no particular uh, note that is overbearing or overpowering the other which is why i like serge luton so much there are so many other strong notes over here the blending is just top class next fragrance that i have here is santal majuscule and again you know it's one of my favorites it's such a gorgeous one and this is so classy unisex in my opinion this can this is beautifully feminine and beautifully unisex anyone can wear it and if you ask me you can wear this any time of the year any time of the day it just has three notes it has sandalwood it has damask rose and cacao and uh, it's just delicious to me and there's this thing a little bit of spicy woodiness it's gorgeous gorgeous sometimes it's difficult to explain something so perfect as this one because you don't know how to explain it there's sandalwood there's rose and then there is cacao and how do you explain that beautiful deliciousness there's no woodiness as such it's often been described as a spicy woody fragrance but i don't get the woodiness as much as i get that beautiful sandalwood and floral part aspect of it more than the other things the next fragrance that i will show you here is called femininity du bois and this again it literally means femininity of the wood and a very elegant and uh, beautiful fragrance it has the cedar the note of cedar plays the central theme of this fragrance but again as i said as I keep repeating myself, Serge Luton's fragrances can have tobacco as the central theme, as can have iris, can have um, cedar as the central theme or sandalwood for that matter. But you will not be able to pick up that particular note as predominant. There's a whole lot of other notes playing here so beautifully. And the last one that I have here is Amre Sultan. And again, oh God, this is so gorgeous. Oh, this is amazing. Again, oh, this is so gorgeous. Again, Amre Sultan may appear to be a very pleasant, very, very, you know, soothing kind of a fragrance, but do not be tricked by it because again, I feel my experience tells me this is again a winter only, fall winter only fragrance. Don't try this in the summers and do not overspray as well. So that ends my s collection with serge luton's and now i come to t which basically means tom ford so let's see how many do i have one two three four five six seven eight a humble collection of eight fragrances trust me i have not worked so much on other fragrances as much as i've worked on ga gathering tom ford fragrances because they have always almost always been unavailable even today i have so many on my wish list and i can't find them so this is a very hard earned collection that i have you know the 
that matching the right price with the right uh, perfume is a very very tricky job if you ask me because I have not never been ready to pay a huge amount of money no matter how much I've loved the perfume but uh, somehow I've been lucky to get the right thing at the right price so I'll start with the first Tom Ford fragrance of my collection and this is none other than black orchid so I won't go too much into details because this is one of the most frequently spoken about uh, fragrances in my videos and uh, again chocolatey patchouli wet earthiness it's just an amazing fragrance great longevity great projection everything is good about this fragrance um, actually if you ask me there are many in the previous collection which i which is going to follow right now that can you know that can feel the competition with this one because this can uh, outshine many of the previous collection perfumes in terms of longevity projection and sillage so the next fragrance that I'm going to talk about here is uh, Champaka Absolute. Again, a beautiful fragrance. Unfortunately, the longevity is not very strong, not remarkable, but it's a good one. The next one that I have here with me is a discontinued gem and I'm very proud to own this. So this is Shanghai Lily and uh, again, an amazing fragrance but sadly discontinued the next one is called fabulous oh it is gorgeous there's no doubt about it but again the longevity is really not very impressive the next one that i have here is sorry <laughs> the next one that i have here with me is tobacco vani and uh, the tobacco and the vanilla comes with a little bit of bubblegummy sweetness which is very beautiful it cuts out the you know the thing about tobacco that many of us may not like in its intense form but uh, i mean i have heard many people talk about long tobacco vanilla being a very very long lasting fragrance unfortunately with me it has not been the case but uh, that's okay <laughs> i guess and this is uh, cafe rose again a beautiful rose fragrance beautiful rose fragrance and uh, honestly the longevity of this one the projection is pretty medium the sillage is very very moderate but uh, the longevity has been good on my skin quite good and uh, it has been better than tom tobacco vinny actually the next one is uh, eau de sole blanc and this is a perfectly oh this is a gorgeous uh, summer fragrance if you ask me if you're going for a vacation there are a couple of fragrances that you can take if you're taking it from the tom ford collection this is being one now when it comes to holiday fragrances these two datura noir especially if you're going to the sea beach and eau de sole blanc is two beautiful pickup for a vacation especially sea beach kind of vacation so this is a beautiful coconutty kind of a fragrance and I love this and the longevity of this one is far better. The last one that I'm going to show here is one of my favorites from this house. This is a rose wood combination and this is Noir de Noir. Um, I've got a bigger bottle. Oh, this is an amazing fragrance. By far the most, um, the strongest of all the fragrances here apart from Black Orchid of, of obviously. Of course, apart from Black Orchid, this one has got an amazing sillage, amazing longevity, amazing projection. Everything is 100 on 100 when it comes to Noir de Noir. So that's it. I'm not going too much into the details because I will be doing a Tom Ford only collection video soon. So I want to keep your interest alive for that one as well. So, okay, now I've come to this beautiful brand called Tiziana Terenzi. I have this amazing rose fragrance from Tiziana Terenzi with a with an amazingly heavy heavy duty cap and this is called Porpora. You know from the bottle from when you sniff it from the bottle Porpora is a beautiful you know a soft jammy kind of a rose to me not at all um, not at all offensive or uh, you know smoky or anything just purely rose fragrance and a very likable one at that too but 
I I have but I have worn very little of this and I'll explain why despite liking this so much uh, I'm not too fond of rose fragrances but I love the rose fragrances that I have in my collection purpura big one of them I have uh, not been able to withstand the intensity of the fragrance now don't get me wrong purpura doesn't burn my nose but at the same time I feel it kind of it's, it's a bit cloying at after a point you know it does not fade away with time it stays the same way and over a period of few hours you can feel a little clogged you can feel a little suffocated in the with the same intensity of the fragrance this has happened uh, with a few other fragrances in my collection right I, I can't recall them right now but the intensity especially the theory mugla fragrances the same thing happens the intensity stays the same way and it kind of is a bit cloying after a few hours the next fragrance that i have here with me is one of my favorites after zen this is again a blind buy worthy fragrance that i can totally guarantee about and this is ursa um i don't know if you can see this is ursa and i am so fond of this fragrance i'm so fond of it i secretly look for this vibe in all my fragrances this is the kind of fragrance that defines me i just love this i whenever i see a white bottle tiziana terenzi fragrance i secretly hope it's like ursa i secretly hope and i want to buy it actually and uh, the next fragrance brand that i'm coming to is versace and this is my one of the fragrances of my old like first few collection um, not first few like this is like i think i got this around 2000 i don't remember also 15 16 i don't remember but this is this is the oldest of all these fragrances they all came later this one was already there so that's what i remember so this is Versace's Crystal Noir and this is the EDP not the EDT I don't like the EDT EDP I vouch for it's totally safe blind by amazing amazing fragrance a little spicy cardamom coconut sandalwood amazing amazing fragrance the next one that I have here with me is again an absolute vanilla favorite this is Van Cleef and Apple's Orchid Ebony amazing amazing fusion of vanilla and floral notes this is not just your cake batter kind of fragrance but vanilla that you would love to wear and not smell like a cake okay the next one that i have here with me is valentino this is oud absolute and again a beautiful fragrance a bit a bit of a synthetic soapy kind of oud of course but looking at the price bracket you can imagine why but it is a very likable fragrance at a very very affordable price the next fragrance that i have here with me is called is from the casamarati collection of zerzhov and it's called dolce malfi this is a 30 ml bottle again a totally full bottle worthy fragrance this is such a delectable gourmand fragrance in my collection i just love this one this is a very potent one too though it's a 30 ml bottle whenever whenever i wear it i know i don't know when i'm going to finish it because just one or two sprays and you are done with this i mean you are done sorted for the whole day almost this is a gorgeous gorgeous fragrance the next one that i come to is also another favorite but a strictly winter only fragrance and this is rich warm addictive from the house of zara and uh, god this is such a beautiful gorgeous creamy tobacco fragrance amazing strong tobacco but such a well blended fragrance and at a price i don't even know how they give such good quality fragrance at this price the last fragrance that I have here with me today is from the brand Zoologist and this is Dodo. So again, a very, very unique fragrance. Smells of the forest, smells of wet earth, greenery, uh, probably 
the smell you get in a on this uh, when you when you're near a wild bird which i have never been but yes i've been to woody wet you know forested areas and this has the smell on the ground uh, from those places and uh, this is dedicated to this bird called dodo which is almost which is extinct now thanks to us but uh, i really like the way zoologist you know names after uh, names its perfumes after um, an animal and uh, it's just like an ode to an extinct bird which is which was beautiful so um, I have another uh, Tiziana Terenzi fragrance but I guess this is a new one so this I'm going to keep for, as a surprise for my haul video coming up very soon and uh, so that was all for my collection video this is the final stash this is the final go and i'm so happy i'm so relieved that it is all finally over i'm going to give this all a final counting and i will um because you know there are so many that i've not written down which is why the counting has got messed up i will have to take out everything and give it a final count and i'll come up with another short instagram post which will show all the fragrances along with all the along with the final numbers i know many of you have asked me this what is the total number of fragrances that you have trust me at this point i'm not a, i'm not 100% sure i need a little kind of re-examining rechecking to do so i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i loved bringing it to you and and i will see you very soon in my next one till then lots of love